This year, the University of Nairobi turned 50 since its inception as the Royal Technical College of East Africa when it admitted its first lot of students for technical courses before being transformed into the second university college in East Africa in 1961. Three years later, the Royal College was renamed University College Nairobi, a constituent college of the Inter-Territorial Federal University of East Africa. In 1970, the University College Nairobi transformed into the first national university in Kenya and was renamed the University of Nairobi. It is the 36th time the University of Nairobi congregates again to confer degrees and award diplomas to its graduates and the second time this year after it successfully held its 35th congregation on the 1st of September. The present ceremony is for two colleges, that is the College of Health Sciences and the College of Humanities and Social Sciences which are set to present over 2,700 graduates for confirmment of degrees and a word of diplomas in the various fields of study. The university's vision is to become a world-class university and a community of scholars committed to the promotion of academic achievement and excellence in research as an embodiment of the aspirations of the Kenyan people and the global community. World-class excellence thus remains the aspiration. The world class in the sense that we want to be the, the number one teaching and research institution in our region and beyond. And the strategic plan seeks to identify the resources that we need and how to unnest these resources to be able to improve on the physical structure of the university, to create an environment in which both the academic staff and the student would love to carry on or to pursue their respective objectives and goals. In its pursuit of world-class excellence, the University of Nairobi continues to contribute to national and regional development by offering training in high-level human resource development in specialized areas that are not catered for by most of the institutions of higher learning in this country. In tandem with the dynamics in all sectors of development where focus has shifted to innovation, the University of Nairobi is setting the pace where corporate style leadership focuses on service delivery as the main tenant of quality productivity. The university is proud of its distinguished record of achievements in teaching, research, role development, and boasts of over 90,000 alumni. The university recognizes the significance of research in national development and boasts of over 300 research publications. In general terms, we publish more than 300 uh, academically uh, peer-reviewed publications worldwide. This also includes the Vice Chancellor himself, who published last year in November in the British Journal of Urology, uh, the November edition. So this university is the university the majority of academic members of staff are to be specific about 1,450 in number, including 107 full professors and about 200 associate professors. So in terms of uh, uh, research production, we are the university to watch. 
An innovative development in the university's education delivery and training has been the introduction of continuing education, which avails a window of opportunity to all that are in search of knowledge. The university has expanded its modes of delivery to include distance and e-learning. It is also offering tailor-made programs that are demand-driven in collaboration with partners to suit the needs of our people. The university has established over 300 international academic links and academic programs. We have endeavored as much as possible to establish links with the institutions in Kenya and in the region in particular. And one particular institution that uh, we recently signed a memorandum of understanding with is Kenya Medical Research Institute. This is one institute, as you know, which has very uh, excellent facilities. And we thought by accessing those, uh, recent, uh, those uh, research facilities, our students can benefit in an immense way. And the, the institution, their own institution also can be, uh, benefit from that because we have a wealth of talent. Apart from the various learning facilities at their respective campuses, the university boasts of quality infrastructure reflected in the state-of-the-art lecture theatres that are continuously being upgraded through internally generated funds, especially those from the Module 2 programs. Income from Module 2 programs goes to supplement government capital, which is approximately 38% of the annual budget of the institution. Completion of the various tall projects has been an ongoing exercise in all campuses. This has ensured that students pursue their academic programs in the most conducive environment. We are committed to ensure that we generate sufficient income internally to be able to complement that which we are getting from government. A few of the areas where we are concentrating our activities to increase financing is our Module 2 program. These are the so-called parallel degree programs. For these who want to increase the capacity and the income, the revenue, from them by 30%. In view of the rapid expansion and complexities in administration, the university underwent a restructuring in 1985 resulting in decentralization of the administration by creating six colleges headed by principal. The College of Health Sciences is among the two colleges presenting graduates in this graduation. The College of Health Sciences hosts the healthcare schools and an institute which are the School of Medicine, School of Dental Sciences, School of Pharmacy, School of Nursing Sciences, and the University of Nairobi Institute of Tropical and Infectious Diseases, UNITED. Nurses, pharmacists, dentists, and doctors form the health team. And this health team is extremely important when we are looking after the health of any community, whether we are talking about a small community or the nation, at large. The college's community service is unmatched as it offers free medical services to many communities in the country through free medical camps organized by the school. Its long-standing memorandum of understanding with Kenya's largest referral hospital, which has various healthcare facilities, has ensured adequate training for its students. College of Health Sciences is situated in Kinata National Hospital campus, and that means that the college and Kinata National Hospital work together with a common mandate. Beyond the training that we do of the healthcare personnel that I referred to earlier, the college also is involved in clinical patient care in Kinata National Hospital. And the staff in Kinata National Hospital also participate in teaching students in the four schools that I talked about. The College of Humanities and Social Sciences 
is the largest among the six colleges of the university. It hosts the Faculty of Arts based at the main campus, School of Law based at Parklands, and the School of Business situated at Lower Kabete. The School of Business has further spread its wings beyond Nairobi and now offers its courses at Bandari in Mombasa. Also situated at the main campus are the School of Journalism and Mass Communication and the School of Economics, which was recently created out of the Faculty of Arts. Other constituents include Institute for Development Studies, Institute of African Studies, Population Studies, and Research Institute. The college uh, aims to be a center of excellence for programs in uh, humanities and social sciences. And so far, since the college was established in 1985, uh, we have graduated over 20,000 um, graduates. And these graduates are working, especially in important positions in government uh, and the private sector as well. The latest sensation in the college is the Confucius Institute, which was inaugurated last year and offers a certificate course in the Chinese language. We have started the Confucius Institute uh, housed in the Department of Linguistics and Languages. And this institute offers or teaches Chinese language and culture. Already we have uh, 53 students uh, registered in this institute. And we have had uh, about 20 who have already completed their certificate course in Chinese language and culture. And I'm glad to say that uh, five of them have already been uh, absorbed in, by companies uh, uh, in Kenya which are Chinese-based. In the continued quest for excellence, the University of Nairobi has established an efficient library system. There is the Grand Jomo Kenyatta Memorial Library with a seating capacity of over 2,000 people situated at the main campus and the 10 sub-libraries located at the various campuses and institutes of the university. The library has over 70,000 journals which can be accessed through the internet. The library also teaches information skills as a component of the communication skills to enhance information retrieval skills by students. Since its inception, the University of Nairobi has expanded tremendously. A total of 36,000 students are pursuing their studies at the university, out of whom 7,000 are pursuing postgraduate studies. The two colleges are set to present 2,700 graduates at the 36th graduation ceremony. This is the second complete year where our students have not been seen on the streets. They, they have actually, their character has, has gone through 360 degrees and uh, I would like to thank them and I would also in the same breath ask the industry out there to give them a second chance because I think uh, everybody deserves a second chance. The image that had been there before was that uh, if somebody was a, a BSc, it was a, a Bachelor of Stone throwing. But right now, our students, I think, have uh, taken their rightful place uh, in the society. And uh, I wish them all the very best. As we take stock of the past, the university is proud to brand the graduates with a mark of distinction because, indeed, they are both a product and instrument of excellence service delivery.
substitute Ma Xiaoxu netted the final two goals in the 68th and 73rd minutes to make it a round dozen for China. After two of the three games that each team play, China topped Group A on a goal difference. And to wrap up this special part of our coverage from the Asian Games, we turn now to the Asian Games medals table. China still tops the leaderboard with 38 gold medals. Japan keeps its second place with 12 golds and South Korea ranks third. Meanwhile, Indonesia and uh, Malaysia share the 10th, both with one gold, one silver and one bronze medal. Let me, um, she, uh, uh, I was just looking at the price tag. I didn't mean to hurt your display here. Listen, I, I, I need a bra. You're what, about a 36A? No, no, it's not for me. It's, it's for, um, it's for a friend, uh, a girl. Um,